compare hydrogen versus ortho hydrogen? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Well, ortho hydrogen is a higher energy state hydrogen versus para hydrogen. Uh, uh, the typical gas produced by this design. Greenhouse gases, we're talking about hydrogen. Okay. okay. Now the only 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 thing I can say about the, uh, nuclear energy is when they have they have an issue, when they have a leak or <laughs> something like that, something goes wrong, an accident. Yeah, otherwise it's pretty pretty darn safe. I agree. I don't think so. Uh, well, when you're running a booster system, and it's a good booster system, your tailpipe emissions, uh, you go down to zero upward hydrocarbons and zero carbon monoxide emissions. Don't need, don't need a catalytic converter. <laughs> Although, removing it is a violation of regulation, so I don't recommend that, but okay. It's not required. It's absolutely not needed. I mean, we can change all of our existing vehicles with the addition of boost systems, make them more efficient and cleaner. Reduce our, reduce our fuel consumption. I mean, God, if the, if the automakers would do this, you know, we'd, we'd be way better off, but they don't want to do this. Yeah, well. Now, uh, a lot of people mentioned this, and I was just talking with a few people last night about this, uh, this morning, actually. The uh, when you burn gasoline in an internal combustion engine, right, uh, the hydrocarbons break down, obviously, and uh, become hydrogen and carbon, right? Well, the carbon comes out as CO2. The hydrogen mixes with oxygen, comes out as what? Water. For every gallon of gasoline you burn, you're actually producing over eight pounds of water. Now, <laughs> What's the difference? You're burning gasoline producing water or burning hydrogen and oxygen and also producing water adding to it. It's still producing water. The engine temperature normally keeps that water evaporating, keeps it from forming. So if your engine's up to temperature, you shouldn't have any issues with rusting out. You know, and I, I keep seeing that stuff where ceramic coating of engines and all that. And they obviously don't know the what's going on inside of an engine that's run on gasoline or diesel because you have water anyways all right who's next <laughs> i think it, uh, it thank you very much thank you very much and again if uh, some of the information was a little bit hard to uh, capture if you're trying to take notes or something this uh, program this afternoon is going to be archived at uh, www.blogtalkradio.com. Listen, listen to some of this. The static that was uh, early...